Good afternoon from, <coughs> again, snowy London. You probably can't see it, but it's very, very light, but no problem. Right, bit of a treat today. So it's now Sunday the 7th of February. So this is uh, just coming up to a month since the original planting of the seeds on the 10th of January. So what I've got here is just the, the three, uh, the three that's still very small and fragile. And I'm just leaving those in the windowsill propagators. But this, this is the surprise. So this is really cool. Um, there is a brilliant um, fella on YouTube called the Chili Chump, um, who does kind of talk throughs throughout the year. He's got some great content and videos. <clears throat> so this is all because of what he's published and what he's shown. So what I've got here is I've got an electric propagator. I bought this last year. It's uh, not particularly good quality, but it does a job. And all I've done is I've transferred over all of the uh, seed trays from the windowsill propagators into this large electric propagator. So same deal, um, it's heated, it's got a filament at the bottom and it just keeps this nice and warm. I've actually turned it off at the minute. You can probably hopefully see that the temperature there is just over 80. Now that's a good place for it to be anyway and that's just because it's in a propagator in a house with heating, so that's really cool. Um, they're all coming on nice. Obviously there's a few that haven't taken, uh, but there's some really strong growth you can see in a lot of the plants here. Um, and you remember they were getting quite leggy, some of them, where they were reaching up for the light. Well, this is all about stopping getting leggy and dealing with that light issue. So what I've got here is, it's a grow light. Um, it was, uh, I think it worked out about 70 quid with shipping. Um, so it's quite good. And let's have a look. There you go. Um, it's just a number of fluorescent tubes, very strong light, obviously. And all that's doing is giving constant light to my plants. Um, so I leave that on 24 seven. Um, it's a fluorescent light, so it's not costing a lot. And that should, as you can see, it's straightened them all up. Um, they're all getting a load of light now. And it should be causing them to thicken up a bit. They shouldn't be reaching as far because they're getting just bathed in, in light. Um, it's a really good little system this. So <clears throat> you need to buy the ratchet separately. I bought um, like an adjustable pole, just a telescopic pole. And put that across the uh, kind of little alcove I've got. Then you get these ratchets. Um, and then you can hang your light. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm new to doing this and I had the light um, quite quite further down, quite close. But what that's done with some of them, if you can see the edges, it's caused a little bit of browning. I don't know if you can quite see it in focus. Uh, a little bit of browning on some of the leaves. Um, and the advice it, there is if you're getting that, the light is too close to the plants. So this morning I just lifted it up another, another few centimetres to give it a break. So that's it. So I'm going to leave those to uh, to grow. Um, I only got this a couple, of, a couple of days ago, so this is all pretty new for them. Um, <coughs> yeah, getting a little bit drier. You can see the soil's drying out, so I'll give them a water a little bit later on. Don't want to flood them or anything, but it's important that they uh, they, they they get all the moisture they need. Um, <coughs> the plan after this, let's just get it back on, is I did some maths. And I think I've got something like 68, uh, 68 individual plants in all or thereabouts. Um, I can't get them all into a single propagator. These are about 30 quid you can pick them up for. So I've ordered another one. Um, so my plan is I'm going to have two propagators, one there and one there with the light between them. And what I'll also do is I'll take everything out of these tiny little seed trays that I've got them in and I'll put each individual plant now into a little flower pot um, which will give it a bigger root base it means it can really start to take and grow and then I'll transfer them all over into the two propagators <coughs> which will be great and they'll benefit from that light and what that means is all of these seed trays are going to be free again um, and I'll do a second round of planting um, I know it sounds a bit greedy and I haven't got room for all of them but what I've been doing uh, for the last couple of years is with the second planting 
um, I sell those off at work and um, give the, the proceeds to Macmillan um, Cancer and everybody likes a chilli plant at home. So that's it, that's really the update for today. As I say, we're a month into it, the growth is phenomenal, um, really, really impressive. And I know it looks a bit nuts um, that I've gone to these kind of extremes, but I think it's really, really going to pay dividends. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.